on each school are there because what there was an overflow of the students and they, okay, I yeah. just wanted to be clear for clarity for myself. Yes. But, uh, but we, we would have to definitely study the capacity, are all of them still needed? Um, what are the conditions of the older ones that can be removed or taken out of service? Uh, and then some can just be repaired if we still need it. Um, obviously, it can still be painted. The, the electrical system and everything can still be worked on. But we, we need to, to definitely continue to study, replace uh, as needed. But we, uh, but we need to make sure we're doing the maintenance on those. And we are doing good maintenance on them, keeping, up, keeping them up and running. We want to make sure our students are in a good learning environment. So the key is to not let, those, let their learning environment deteriorate while, while they're in use. But I always say, I always was saying, they, they frighten me. In today's society, they frighten me. And I'm not going to put today that nothing's happened. But it, when it does, at a learning cottage, you know, it's just the, the, the disconnect from the main building. Um, and I, I'm going to leave that as it is today. Every, every morning I wake up and you, we see what's on television. And it only takes one. We've been very fortunate. There's a lot of learning colleges here, and I um, just want to say, it only takes one person to come, and you can't really secure those like in the secure building. I mean, you know, we have to think about our kids. Okay. And sometimes kids cost, it's not a cost, it's an investment. I just want to say, when we think about this, don't think that's an expense. Think that's an investment. You know, and sometimes it, it can cost them, sometimes investments cost. No need to stand before a paying teller when no deposits have been made. I continue to say that. When it comes to our kids, we must invest in our buildings and in our kids. And in, in today's society, definitely safety. And you'll, you'll see that some of those buildings may be up for renovation or on the renovation schedule that we've talked about. So when you renovate a building, you do add instructional space. So that, that would also be another way to start re reducing the need for for learning cottages. So by maintaining uh, and, and renovating buildings, um, <laughs> our, our existing buildings, we're also including the instructional space, which was the reason why some of those learning cottages are on those campuses uh, in the first place. Um, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm So you mentioned um, wanting to study um, the capacity at different schools. Are you thinking that we may actually be able, or do, do we have like more capacity in certain schools than others? Oh, yes. yes. Would that require rezoning? No. Okay. Don't mention that word. Yes, <laughs> Pull that word up. Uh, no, some, when you talk about classroom space, I think our architect did a quick analysis of how many classrooms Huntington would, would need uh, based on the student population. Some of our schools are maybe 80% capacity, some may be a 90, some may be a 110 based on the capacity, and I, um, that's something I'm sure uh, our, our, our folks here can pull together for us. But uh, in doing so, uh, we, can, we can look at the capacity of the structure without, without the learning cottages to see whether we're at, at, at capacity in those buildings and how many of those, lear those learning cottages may be needed. And as we continue to, 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 look, to assess that on an annual basis, determine whether we can take out one learning cottage uh, that may not be needed or um, out, out of the, out of the, the, the list. Uh, Mary Lou, I'll, I'll defer to you if, you if you have any comments regarding that. Those are really not something okay. So that's what I would recommend versus that immediate column. So um, so don't get don't 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 get uh, over alarmed with the price tag with that piece. <laughs> um, uh, I believe when uh, 